what we're going to do now is we're going to take this menu that's this menu we're talking about here and we're going to stretch it all the way across so that it fills up the entire space and then we're going to change up colors and add some span text and we're going to do a bunch of other things to this menu here but the first thing we're going to do is start off by styling this menu in thesis design options and so if we go over to design options here and look at the nav menu I think we'll go ahead and leave the text the way it is but in terms of background color I'm gonna give the main background color a nice dark color so it's gonna be 888 888 and I'm gonna give the hover background color a lighter color 333 333 oh, pardon me it's the other way around isn't it yes it is and 888888 and then the current background color we're gonna stick at 333 and the current parent background color will stay 333 so our hover colors will have two different hover colors we get rid of our border altogether so we won't have any border and then in terms of our link text the standard link text is actually going to be white and I think we'll make our hover link text kind of yellow orange and actually we're not going to make it white we're going to use it up kind of a a blue gray color and then the current we will use white and the link is going to be white our current parents can be white so this is our new color scheme now and if we hit save come over and refresh this Okay, there's our new menu style where we've got those colors like this. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is change up the style of the text. And we're going to change the style of the text first because that's going to help us decide how wide these menu items should become when we're done. So if we come back over to Thesis Nav Menus, whoops. We're going to start off simply by changing the nav menu text styling in the thesis default section. And instead of having a two pixel, we're going to have normal spacing. We're going to get rid of all the caps. And for the moment, we're going to make the menu text bold, I think. No, we aren't. We're not going to make the menu text bold. So we're just going to hit save. So essentially, we're removing all caps and we're using normal spacing for the text okay there we go so now we've got our text and it's too small right so I'm gonna enlarge the text right now it's at 11 pixels I'm gonna go back to thesis design options and I'm gonna increase it to let's see where do we go Thesis design options nav menu and I'm gonna increase the text to 13 pixels or points okay so that's a little bit bigger I think we're gonna take it up yet still take the nav menu and we're gonna take it up to 14 points so we'll get it as big as it can be under the circumstances okay so there we go there's our menu now now what we want to do is stretch the menu across so it fills up the whole space and so what we're gonna do is go back to the nav menu plugin and we're going to turn on our layout guides so we can see how much room we need to manipulate. Refresh that. And now we've got this little layout guide up here. Shows us how much room we need. And we need, uh, each one of these is 20 pixels. So we've got 180, 220, to say 230 pixels. And we need to divide up between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's about 30 pixels let's call it 25 pixels each let's call it 13 okay so say we need to add 25 pixels each to this thing 
so let's just say and it's gonna have some kind of padding because that's what we're doing next is we are adding width we're increasing the width by increasing the padding on either side of each of these elements and so we're coming down to the menu item style and we are going to customize the typical item padding I think that's all we'll do for the moment hit save so once we've set our scoping options here by selecting typical item padding the next thing we'll do is give ourselves some left and right padding and so the left padding at the moment let's just try 15 and 15 and see what happens 15 pixels and 15 pixels hit save okay that stretched us out a little bit so I think we can probably go to 20 Okay, and so now I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 140 divided by 8, essentially, say, let's just call it 18. Well, yeah. 140 divided by 8 is, yeah, 18. And so we can put another 9 on each side because we're padding both sides at the same time. So if we can add 18 to each one, then we can add 9 to each side and so instead of 20 it's going to be 29 and 29 you know I, I think that might not work I think I might not have done both of them the same way the first time yeah that went too far so let's take them both down to 25 try it again okay so now I'm about 20 pixels short could add two more pixels to each one of these things and that's our first menu item customization and we're going to change the first menu item padding by making that one a little bit bigger so the typical menu item padding is 26 so we're gonna make let's just say let's make it 30 okay it is very close and what I would do here instead of trying to make up that one more pixel which we could do but what I would do instead is give the overall menu a background color and then let it go at that and so what we do here is come back to the overall menu customization options and say that we want to customize the overall menu background and use a background color and hit save and then overall menu background color is just going to be that 333333 that dark color hit save and refresh it okay and now we're essentially going all the way over we can turn off our background image here that is giving us our scale and see it's working the way we want it to so turn off our layout guides and then refresh it okay so now you can see we've stretched this menu all the way across 